All right, crew, we are going to be doing an upper body workout today, and I'm gonna show you how you can utilize potatoes to help you with learning how to get tension in the bar for your pull-up. This seems a little ridiculous, but I was thinking about this the other day. I teach a lot of my clients how to get their first pull-up by giving them a lot of different cues, like break the bar and pretend like you're squeezing oranges under your armpits, and I'm like, I keep telling them to do that. I'm curious as if we can actually do that as a drill. So I didn't have oranges or lemons, but I have potatoes. So now potatoes are just what's gonna stick to it. So I'm gonna do a workout where we're literally going to use these and I'm gonna show you how to use them to help you learn how to get your pull up and to learn how to really break the bar and put tension into the bar. Um, you obviously can't do a full pull up with these because they just drop out. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna hook up my bar. Uh, a lot of people get questions in the bar, so I have the link to the bar below. Um, this bar, I wrap um, paper towels around it because what happens is if I don't, sometimes the paint comes off of the wall and we don't want that, not in these apartment complexes. So literally just by wrapping it has helped a lot. So it's just like paper towels wrapped with a hair tie on it. Um, so bar is hooked up, let me just test it. It's ready to go. I got my potatoes. Also make sure you have a chair with you because the drill we're gonna use, you're gonna need a chair and, and potatoes or, you know, you don't have to use potatoes. You probably use like tennis balls or something. Um, but first thing we're gonna do no matter what, cause we never skip this. And if you come to my pull up workshops before you know, we don't skip a warm up ever, no matter what we're doing. So we're not skipping the warm up. We're gonna warm up right now. Just took off my shirt. Um, and let's make sure we get our shoulders nice and warm for this. So we're gonna circle our shoulders forward. Inhale, exhale. And we're gonna circle our shoulders backwards. Chest up nice and tall. We're gonna take that neck, we're gonna circle it around to one side, get any tension. And what I love so much about this potato cue and how ridiculous this is for the other side is it really translates into all sorts of things in life. And here's how. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Let's take our arms up to the side. We're gonna dip one shoulder down and then rotate because a lot of times maybe we're doing the same things over and over again to get our pull up. Or maybe we're doing the same things over and over again for something that we're working towards. And sometimes it takes doing something a little bit different, a little bit weird to finally get it to click. Maybe it's a certain cue, maybe it's a weird thing that you try, but the definition of insanity is doing the same shit over and over again and not seeing your result, right? Am I right? So why not try something freaking weird? Even if it's not for your pull-up, maybe it's nothing to do with potatoes. Um, why not do something a little bit different to try and get you to your goal? So great uh, reminder for people on here. Like, again, do something different. If you keep getting the same result, do something different, even if it's a little bit weird and just out of the ordinary. It either works or it doesn't. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong, right? You're still gonna be in the same place that you were before if it doesn't work, right? So that's why this stuff is pretty, pretty cool. Um, okay. Um, what I wanted to do, what I thought would be pretty fun too, because with my pull-up program, we always do mobility, stability, and strength um, after we do our warm-up. Um, I wanted to do some of that, uh, some, uh, some, some uh, warm-up CNS prep type stuff with the potatoes since we have them, um, and then we'll get into the actual workout on the bar. So we will be hanging on the bar today. Um, so mobility, stability, and strength, three pieces to help you get your pull-up. So, Let's work on some mobility stuff right now so that we get ourselves ready for our pull-up. So use your chair, you're gonna come on down. You're gonna put your elbows on your chair. You're gonna put your head in between and you're gonna come down. And when you come down here, you're gonna raise your arms forward and back. It's a nice thoracic stretch here. And this will help that overhead range of motion, which is exactly where our arms are at when we're doing our pull-up. Take a second, release and then do it again. Sink it on down. Maybe look to one side, look to the other side if you can. This has always been really hard for me because I can never like, like you have to kind of fit your head between your arms, which is kind of weird. Um, so yeah, this whole workout's just gonna be interesting and weird. You're welcome. Awesome, come on out, get some mobility. Let's do some stability. Let's take the potato. We're gonna put our arms out in front of us and we're gonna just keep our arms straight and look at the potato as we're going up and over. Now, I love this because it's gonna help with you know, some grip strength stuff, but also, um, a lot of times, I've actually went to a few workout classes where they make you juggle before you work out, and it really helps to get your brain on 
turn your brain on and function. Um, I thought that was really interesting. I'm not a good juggler, so we're not juggling this potato because we need to use them for under our armpits later. Ah, boom, awesome. Let's go on back, stretch it on out. Head in between, if you can. It's funny, I have these headphones on, but I don't have any music on, so we'll just, we'll just take them off. <laughs> stretch it forward and back. Again, lean to one side, lean to the other side. Just really breathe. If you want to, you can always put your feet up, make a little downward dog position. Pedal at the feet, then sink down, back. Ooh, this is one of my favorite ones. Come back up, potato. Let's try and do the potato down eyes now. So pull it down and see if you can catch it down. Ha, ha, this one's harder. Keep the arms straight. Toss the potato. I literally love potatoes. I eat mashed potato, <laughs> right now in the fridge I have mashed potatoes. I've got a potato salad with beets in it that I made. Um, I make potatoes for breakfast all the time. I just freaking potatoes. I like potatoes and potatoes like me. Boom. Ooh, drop, okay. <laughs> little dent in the sky, a little dent in the sky. Okay, one more time around and then we'll get to the strength piece of this workout. Head in, forward and back. Also, feel free to comment down below if there's something, I know this is weird again that we're doing this with potatoes, but maybe there's something else that, something that helped you, some weird cue or weird thing in life that just made something click for you. <laughs> um, I'd love to know if you have any of those. Okay. Potato tosses. Maybe we'll switch it up this time. We do like one under, one over. Try that. Oh, that's fun. So left hand under, right hand. Right hand under, left hand over. Then we can swap it. Right. <laughs> God, my boyfriend isn't home right now. He'd be like, what is happening? He was not happy when I told him I put these in my armpits. <laughs> I think he just thinks I'm weird, honestly. I mean, it is kind of weird, to be honest. But I'm like, I'm just curious. Awesome, shake it on out. So what we're gonna work on today is the flex arm hang, but with potatoes under our armpits. So in order to do the flex arm hang, and the flex arm hang is gonna help us strengthen the top piece of the pull up. It's gonna help us learn how to keep tension in the band. Um, so what I always tell my clients is like, you wanna try and strengthen the bottom piece of your pull up if you're like really stuck um, and you're learning, but you also wanna strengthen the top. So you wanna strengthen it from all different ranges. A lot of people are stuck at the bottom, but again, this is a great thing to do no matter where you're at when you're pull up. Um, so you're gonna need a chair because we're gonna start at the top of the pull-up. Um, you never want to do the flex arm hangs and like jump up to it. You wanna start at the top of the bar. So it means you're gonna have to climb up and start there and you never wanna jump down. I want you to just come down onto the chair after. So we're only holding the top piece and only strengthening the top piece of it. So that's the one we're gonna do first. And then second one, I figured it would be really fun to hop down. Um, and do a few plank potato tosses, to use the potato, um, and a couple push-ups. So now we're pushing and pulling um, to really help with uh, pull-up strength. So, so funny, there's a window right here, and I'm like, are people gonna see me? They might. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna get to the top of the bar. You're gonna do this with me. You're gonna take your potato, you're gonna put it underneath. I'm put this under my left armpit, under my right armpit. You're gonna have to like really squeeze it at first. And we're gonna do a flex arm hang, and the goal here is to not let the potato come out, okay? And, ha and hang on here for as long as you can. So we're gonna max it out. We're gonna see what we can do. So potatoes are in the armpit. I wanna do it on this bar, but I'm also like kinda of little. <laughs> let's see. And then you're just gonna literally potato hold until you can't potato hold anymore. So let's go in three, two, and one. Hold it. Hold it and squish the potatoes between your armpits. Hold it, breathe. My feet are in front of me for a little core, extra core stability here. Oh, and as soon as you're done, step it down. Do not jump down. So I see a lot of people who do the flex harm hang and they'll do it at the top of the bar and they'll just like allow themselves to like dramatically drop down. Don't do that shit. You wanna work on the top piece of this. Um, okay, so let's hop on down. We did our flex arm hang. And let's do some Let's do some push-ups. So I'm gonna do a few potato tosses and a few push-ups. So you can try this out just with one arm first. Make your feet a little bit wider if you need to. Toss it. 
Let's do five. Look at it. Switch to the other side. And then I want you to do five regular classic push-ups. You can do them on your knees if you need to. Elbows are going back at 45 degrees. So when you do your push-ups, you never want your elbows out like this. You want them 45 degrees away from your body. Pro tip, don't ever forget it. No flailing out. If you need to drop to your knees, it's okay. You can also do them elevated on a chair. All right, potato flex arm hang. Part two, we're gonna do it again. Now, I think we're gonna go around four times. What I love doing with my clients, and I figured this would be fun to do for us too, is switching up their grip. So this next one, potatoes under the armpits, you're gonna put your left hand under and your right hand over. Okay, so we're gonna switch up that grip a bit and use our muscles in different ways. So we're up, potatoes are in the armpits. <laughs> I might do it on this lower one because it's gonna be easier for me. Short people problems, you can, I'm gonna do it on the lower bar. So hands, left hand under, right hand over, you're squeezing your potatoes. You go in three, two, and, oh, this one's gonna come out, hold on. There we go, three, two, and hold. Potato hold, squish them. But this is forcing you to have tension in the bar. It's forcing you. Ooh, you're shaking, you're shaking as long as you can. As soon as you're done, you step it down. You step it down. If this is still too, really, like you still can't even stay up for like two seconds, um, that's okay, you're gonna get better at it. You can always use a light assisted band to help you. I'm saying light, because I don't want you to use a crazy assisted band. No, no heavy assisted bands, it's not gonna help you. A light assisted band, totally fine. Heavy, no, no chance, don't do that. Okay, potato toss, should we try and toss it back and forth? Why not? So let's get into a plank, toss it up, catch it, oh, oh, three, four, oh, five, catch it, and then push it out for five. Shake it out. Let's take a little bit of a rest. We just did one hand under, one hand over, so we're gonna switch that grip now. So the other hand will go under, the other hand, other hand will go over. Again, I like playing with grips with my clients because this really helps us to use our muscles in different ways. Um, I always get the question of, ooh, I don't know what I just said there. I think I just adjusted some kind of brightness. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, so um, people always have the question of like underhand versus overhand pull-ups. Um, Chin-ups are definitely a lot easier for people because they're using your bicep a lot more and not your back as much. But I like to fuck around with all of them and I like to get the, I like to get the classic pull-up first because if you can do that, you can literally do anything. <laughs> okay, so we took our break. We're coming on up. We're putting potatoes under the armpits. It's a good time. Can you see me over here? I think you can. Okay. Armpits in. Ready to go. Don't use a chair like this. This is, this is not, a, not a safe chair. Right hand under, left hand over to switch it up. We're gonna hold it in three, two, one. Squeeze the potatoes. Squeeze them. Break the bar in half while you're doing it. Hold the tension. As soon as you're ready, step down onto the chair, hang out. And your goal when you do these, I like to tell my clients to try and time them. Um, time them, and then each time you come back to it, see if you can do it a little bit longer, and the goal is to do be you versus you. Ultimately, it'd be great if you can hold it for like 20 seconds at least, 20, 30 seconds. Um, so that's the ultimate goal when you're coming to do this. All right, potato toss again. So do the potato toss either in front um, or you can do it side to side. This camera's making me look extra tan now. I hit some kind of button on here, I don't know what it did. Um, so we'll go with it. <laughs> extra, extra tan me and the potato. Um, so either do regular tosses or you can do the side to side ones that we're just trying here. Bah. Bah. Ooh, you gotta make the sound or else it doesn't count. Woo. Boom and your push-ups. 
for five. Potato, potato. All right, last one we're gonna do is the chin up version of this. And again, it's gonna help you to really keep those elbows in to really feel like you're breaking the bar in half. And notice that this, this uh, workout, this is great, this is short, simple. Obviously, maybe not simple, but <laughs> um, there's more that you can do in order to get your pull up. This is just some tips and tricks. Um, but yeah, you can keep doing this workout and then keep trying to stay on the bar a little bit longer. Um, come on up. So far, no one passed me in this window. We're gonna do chin up now version. Palms facing us. All right, we go one in three, two, and one. Squeeze the potatoes. Hold it. And come down when you're ready. And remember, I'm not dropping down. No dropping down. I don't wanna see you up there with potatoes in your armpits chopping all the way down to the floor. It's not gonna help you. Not gonna help you. We'll do another video on eccentrics and coming down slow from them, but we're not doing that today. All right, potato tosses, however where you want, five. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, push it up. And we got a little mini potato workout, but again, I wanna encourage you to try something different. If your shit's not working, if you've, if you've been saying to me, Angela, I've been trying to get my pull up for this long, okay, and you haven't gone it yet, but you're doing the same shit over and over again, or you're not doing anything at all, stop saying you really want it, because you don't really want it that badly. You gotta try something different, right? Um, and that's exactly why we have the full blueprint to getting your pull up with my Pull Up Revolution program. You keep the program forever. Keep it forever, it has the exact blueprint. Be like, Angela, what exactly do I need to do? I'm like, do you want me to text, do you want me to message their whole, this whole Instagram on exactly each thing? No, it's gonna be too hard. Get the program, do it. We hold you accountable as an amazing community. Um, and we'll give you great drills with potatoes. Oh no, there's actually no potato drills in the actual, um, in the actual program, but I'm, I just use this as cues to give it to people. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's been awesome, honestly. I think it's helped a ton. Um, so anyways, hope you enjoyed this. We're gonna stretch it out. Cause if you come to my workshops before, you always warm up and you always cool down. Don't skip that shit. You're not cool by skipping your warm up or your cool down and it doesn't take that long to do it. Um, and if you enjoyed this, make sure you comment down below, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, and I have all the info for the pull-up program. We've got all the info for any workshops that are coming up and stuff like that down below. And the pull-up bar, I don't have a link for potatoes yet, but maybe I'll get one. Maybe the potato company will give me one. Um, yeah, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Comment down below, let me know if you like this video, and I'll see you later.